this is this is not only a, a, um, to let you know that we're doing a review tonight. Me and Greg from Bowman's Bear Reviews, two of us collab review, and it is of this fella. So it's storming the Emperor's Castle. It is a rum barrel aged over Tahitian vanilla pods, twelve month edition. It's a double mashed imperial stout bucket heads, it says on the back. Um, I will read as well what it says. 13.5%, double mashed, with brooding collaboration with Darth Damien of Emperors, and aged in Antillian rum barrels for 12 months over a bed of fragrant and sweet organic Tahitian vanilla pods. Castle Rock Brewery and Emperors Brewery Cola. So, because I think we're going to be talking a bit too much tonight, uh, I'm going to give you some heritage about Castle Rock Brewery. So, Castle Rock Brewery was founded in 1977 by the former Campaign for Real Ale camera chairman Chris Holmes and was formed as Tyne Mill. And I think, if memory, if, if I'm right, that Chris Holmes actually lives in the Isle of Man, according to our good friend of the channel, Slurpee. So, formed in 1977 as Tyne Mill by former camera chairman Chris Holmes, Castle Rock has gone from strength to strength over the years, developing a reputation for both inviting and unique pubs and excellent quality ale. The first pub was the King's Arms in Newark, not far away from my other workplace. The original idea was simple, create a friendly, welcoming and serve high quality pub. High quality beers, pub and beers, one way around. I wanted to create a pub that I would want to drink in and hope there would be enough people like myself who would do the same, said Chris. Certainly these days, that's evident. Following the acquisition of more pubs, including the Swan in the Rushes in Loughborough and the famous Lincolnshire Poacher, the estate has grown to 12 pubs when the brewery itself, itself was established as a partnership between Grand Bamford, Grand Coat Brewery and Tyne Mill in 1997. Grand has now stopped brewing. The site opened next door to the Vatten Fiddle in Nottingham, which is now the Castle Rock Brewery Tap. I've never actually been there, you know. Never, ever been there. That is something that when the beer reviewers come to Nottingham, either in August or October, that I need to be going to the Castle Rock Tap. Definitely, get some photographs. Adrian Redgrove was appointed in 2004 and the brewery went from strength to strength producing high quality and consistent beers time after time after time. From the opening of the brewery, production grew from 30 barrels a week to 100 barrels a week in 2010. Word spread and Castle Rock's reputation grew. Whilst it never been the intention to move away from the successful Tyne Mill li library, Castle Rock Brewery did become the trading name of Tyne, Tyne Mill as a result of both customer confidence and our own confidence in both our award-winning beer, winning beers and our high-class brewing team, believing it would prevent frequent consumer confusion between our two personas. In 2010, with the second brewery bursting at the seams, Castle Rock underwent a further expansion. With a whole host of new equipment and an increased capacity of 360 barrels a week, some barrels that is, this tied in with Castle Rock's Harvest Pail, absolutely amazing on cask. It's good in bottles, but on cask, it's something special. Um, winning the Supreme Champion Beer of Britain in 2010 at the Camera Great British Beer Festival at Earl's Court. Demand for Harvest Pail and other Castle Rock beers further soared. Today, the brewery continues to create innovative new beers whilst remaining consistent and of exceptional high quality. That said, we reassure, we reassure our customers that it isn't a job done and we will work hard to continue to provide the best beers that we possibly can. You can't fault that, can you? Let's be fair. More recently, Castle Rock's quality of beer and pub estate continues to impress, winning further awards for our beers, including bronze for Screech Owl in Strong Bitters at the GG, GBBF 2013 and also reaching the finals of the Publican Awards 2014 for best drinks offering. Castle Rock's beer is not only widely recognised and acclaimed, but equally so for its great selection of pubs reflected in being pub group of the year in 2002, 6 and 2008. Great beer, great pubs. It's what we love and we hope you do too. You can't fault that, can you? You know, and if you look at their page, castlerockbrewery.co.uk, 
it goes into a lot uh, of detail about fermentations, brewing processes and, and whatnot. And uh, let's look at the beers now. So the core beers are Session at 4%, a juicy and fruity Session IPA, Shale Reserve at 4.5%, a decadent English stout, um, Preservation at 4.4%, uh, fortified with flavour, Screech Owl 5.5%, amazing on cask, um, a strong IPA, Elsie Mo again, brilliant, 4.7%, a glorious golden pale, Harvest Pale at 3.8%, and here's, here's, here's something that breaks a lot of people's traditions of mine. A Raggy Avenue beer that I call Raggy Avenue is normally 6% upwards. Harvest Pale at 3.8% on cask is, is Raggy Avenue. Always has been, always will be. The bottle, not so much, but certainly, the, certainly on cask it is absolutely amazing. Um, other beers they do, if I can scroll up. The pilot project, now, they're doing at the moment SIPA, Simcoe, which is in shops now, till May till July, 4.3%, and it's a Simcoe uh, pale packed with Simcoe hops. They've got other beers. This is their two project, 2.0 range. SIPA, Simcoe, IPA, Citra Galaxy and Sabro, Vermont IPA, Simcoe and Strata. All these are roughly still around. The Notting Amian beers, non-available at the moment. Seasonal beers, non-available. Specials, non-available at the moment, obviously because of COVID and uh, all that stuff. Um, I, I do think that when the pubs reopen full, the beers will start to flow. I've been to um, Robin Hood Beer Festival when it was at Nottingham Swimming Baths, Victoria Swimming Baths. God, it was, it was, it was dinky in there. And uh, then also at the castle, three or four times at the castle. And is it once or twice at Motor Point? I can't remember if it's been twice at Motor Point. I know it's been once, but it might have been twice. And this year at Nottingham's um, cricket, cricket Ground. So yeah, even good. So that's that's about um, Castle Rock Brewery. And they are advertising for jobs at the moment. If anybody's in Nottingham Shire area, um, looking for jobs for in the pubs and in their pop-up shops, which is great if you want to sell their beer and you're a fan, why not? So that's Castle Watt Brewery. Emperor's Brewery then, and uh, this is a man who obviously likes his Star Wars, Damien, Darth Damien. And it says here, a long time ago, in a brewery far, far away, a keen home brewer had a dream to produce the greatest imperial stouts and porters the galaxy had ever seen. Fair play to that. The dream is Emperor's Brewery, and it is full operational. This will be a long day remembered. And uh, it doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't actually go into any detail. Well, it does. Hold on a minute. No, no, there's not much on here. So, yeah, um, the site's basically like a, it's in Colville in Leicestershire, not far away from me. They... Emperor's Brewery did a collab last Christmas with Liquid Light, another Nottinghamshire brewery, who are, who are opening a tap room up in the Snenton area of Nottingham. It'll be ready for, should be ready for July. So they'll be, they, they'll be having their own little brewery and a tap room, which would be amazing. Fair play to them. Good, good couple. But last year, they released, just before Christmas it was, um, Interste Interstellar Galactic Woman Raisin Stout, a collaboration, a big wasp over there. Or bee. Um, a big in collaboration with Liquid Light, 13.5%, I think it was. Something like 13 quid a can. 700 sold in four minutes. That is ridiculous, as Harry Potter would say. Sorry, not Star Wars. Um, but yeah, anyway, 8 o'clock tonight, me and the good man, Mr. Bowman Beer Reviews. You want to check a good beer review of that. He is quality. Straight to the point, doesn't mess about. He did a great uh, review of Brewmaster Snake, Snake Venom yesterday. Kind of warmed his cheeks up. <laughs> it's the world's strongest beer. I've already reviewed it and it warmed my cheeks up. Wow. <clears throat> but anyway, 8 o'clock tonight, Saturday, May. The 15th, 2021. 
we're reviewing this. Got it for a tenner last week. Went down, luckily it was raining. Called, called me gardening job, jobs off. Went down to Westbridge for the pop-up market. Two lads were freezing the, um, themselves. And, uh, but anyway, I've got it. And uh, sold out already. So it won't last long. We knew it. I knew it won't last long. I was lucky to get a bottle. Can't wait to review it tonight. If anybody else has got one, please join us tonight. And, you know, post your tasting notes with us. Because this is what community is about. It's about everyone interacting. If anybody else has got it and they want to drink it and join along with us too tonight, 8 o'clock on Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits channel. Cheers all. We'll see you later. I hope you like this little intro video to Castle Rock Brewery and Emperor's Brewery. So it's castlerockbrewery.co.uk, emperorsbrewery.co.uk. Well, there's not much on Emperor's site, but a little, a little um, farmhouse, it looks like. But yeah. Um, I will be doing loads and loads of tagging at some stage, so no beer, no beer tonight until afterwards. And then after that, sucker for punishment that I am, I'm doing this. And I can find the can. I'm doing the Battle of the Norse Stars. Sucker for punishment? Yeah. So I'm doing Norse Star, the original that came out last year, 9% from Northern Monk. But I'm also doing that one. And yes... For some strange reason, certain Morrisons have reduced it to two quid. The only thing I can assume is that it's not ranged. They've reduced it to clear and get rid. So yeah, two quid. Whew. So, 16 quid's worth of beer. It would have been 18 quid's worth, to be fair. So tonight, the battle, I'm going to be reviewing these later, and I'm also going to be a tasting and a review, straight after the Bullman and Me beer review. Busy Saturday night. That's why I'm not drinking today. So, got loads of work to do. Need to clear up all my uh, social medias and just so I'm in a good place, ready. Thank you, everyone, for being there. Thank you for being part of the Beers Review community. It's not just those raggy, it's everybody. We're all part of this community, joining together, bumping each other's up, Bumping local breweries up, that's what it's about. Certainly that's what it's about on my page. It's all about local breweries, as well as the national and supermarket stuff. And uh, for me, I'm Nottingham person, so Nottingham, Derby, Leicestershire, Lincolnshire, you know, that is my home. And uh, I'm proud to push these breweries. And anyway, cheers, see you later. Should be a good one. Looking forward to it.